Hi guys, this is going to be the tutorial that's going to show you how to make these pom-poms for your hat using simple things that you have around the house. This is a cereal cardboard. I'm going to show you what you need to do to make these and how you can turn them into one of those. Okay, so I made a tutorial a long time ago using these smaller ones here for a hat and I needed to make new ones because I wanted the ones for these hats that I did a tutorial on. You can find the links underneath the video if you want to know about either one of these hats. But I made, I needed to make a bigger one to fit on the hats that I had. This was too small. So I decided to make a new one and I got some pictures and I decided that I'd go ahead and film another updated HD version so that you can learn how to do this yourself. And to make this pom-pom, all you're going to need is some thin cardboard, like from a box of cereal or something. You need uh, two of them. You're going to need a pair of scissors, a pen, and a cup so that you can write on the cardboard and cut this out. Also, you're, you'll need a tapestry needle so that you can sew on your pom-pom. And I used worsted weight yarn, 4-ply for the U.S., 10-ply for Australia, but you can use any kind of yarn that you like but for the purpose of, of this tutorial that's what you're going to need and also these pair of scissors I recommend that you have a small and, and strong pair of scissors because you're really going to need it to uh, be small so that you can turn with the curvature of the pom-pom and also they need to be able to cut really good so grab those things and we'll get started so first thing you want to do is get a cardboard and these are very thin cardboard. This is from um, a cornflakes box, I think it was, because it's a bigger box, it's easier to mess with. But you can use any cereal box or any other simple cardboard that you may have in your house that you would otherwise throw away. And you want to put uh, the size of the pom-pom that you want. You want to find a cup that's about that same uh, diameter, diameter, what, what is my brain shutting off here? Diameter. That's the word. And once you get something that's the right diameter for your pom-pom size, then you want to put that, place it on top of the cardboard and get a pen and mark all the way around the outside of the cup. And then you want to get something smaller or you can just do this by eye uh, only. Just make that circle around the middle. And you want to make sure that you leave at least an inch thickness around the outside. Don't make it too thin or your pom-pom won't be very long. The end result, uh, the actual pom-pom part won't be very long. It'll be too short. And then once you've got those, you can take the color that you're going to be using for your pom-pom, which for me is going to be gray. And first you want to cut kind of a long piece. And uh, I don't know about how much that is, maybe about 40 centimeters, about the length of the hat that I had just got done making. And you want to get this piece and you want to set it to the side. You're going to use that later. Now in my original video when I had the smaller ones, I could later on add that string and it was a little easier, it didn't come apart. Um, one person suggested that you put the, the string here in between first and then do that which can be great but I kept getting it in my way when I was trying to wrap it and it got on my nerves so I don't want to go that way though you can if you want I'm gonna add the string as I go as I cut so first I'm gonna wrap it and then I'm gonna add my string put my my tail on the opposite side here and then start to wrap it all the way around and because it's such thin cardboard I was able just to kind of move it out of my way when I needed to and that when I did it fast it, did, it made noise but it didn't really stop me and you want to do this a lot you want to make it thick start in one area like this and then you can can continue to move down do this while you're watching your show and I just took it a little section at a time just to cover it and then once I made it all the way to the end here I started wrapping it back 
the other direction until I got the thickness that you want because you don't want to be thin. You want it to be a, a really good, you know, you want to have a lot of yarn. So you want to make sure that this is pretty thick. So you want to go over it real good at least twice. So go through like I did, go through this way and then start going back the other way and make it thicker. So go ahead and do that and I will see you when you get back. I wanted to tell you another thing you can do. Right now I'm doing the second round. I'm starting to thicken it up a bit. And I just look over at my other color over here. And I remember that uh, for a hat I did in the past, I grabbed another color and I started adding it you know, like somewhere in the middle. Or you can just add it, you know, do this kind of thick and then add this and add it on the outside and you can give your ball, uh, your pom-pom blue on the outside and then gray in the middle. Or you can just do it here in the middle here and then you can have it gray on the outside then blue on the outside for a little bit and then gray on the outside on the other side. You can mess around with this and add different colors. Okay, I think I got it good and thick enough. Like I'm happy with that. And I didn't go all the way to the ends, obviously, so that it won't slip off. Don't go too close to the ends. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut my yarn and I'm gonna cut it on the top side because soon I'm gonna have many tails on this top side. So move that to the side. Get yourself a good pair of scissors. This is gonna take a little strength to do. So I'm going to go to this side because my right hand is my strongest. I'm going to get my tail here, my string that I had earlier. And I'm going to fold it in half because I want to know where that half mark is. Uh, going more to one side than the other and then I'll adjust it at the end. So it's good enough to at least have it by half and have it sitting there on the side ready for you. So make sure you hold it firmly together because once you start cutting, these are going to spread open and the only thing holding them together is going to be your fingers. And in my original video, uh, I talked about maybe going in between, but you don't have to. That just makes it harder. I go from this side, the closest side to me, and try to get to the closest to the top that I can. And then I start to cut. And the angle here may be awful in a minute. So you're going to cut down a decent amount of ways. You can see how these are just all loose. So you've got to be real careful. Now this is where I usually get my string. I separate in between those two pieces and I put it there. So once you've got them pretty good on one side, then you can slip it in between the other side as well. There we go. It can be difficult sometimes because this side was is a little wrong. I mean it's shorter here than it here. That makes it difficult for me. That's okay. Okay. So I have it now in between this two and, and my string in between these two. And I'd prefer to have a little extra length on the top part where I'm working because I'm going to be pulling it Okay, so holding it, you got your string here, get it out of the way, 
Now I'm going to continue to cut down my line a little bit, move my string, and then now I'm going to lay it down a little bit so it won't come so easily loose on the other side. Cut down a little bit more. Take some good scissors. Then I'm going to move my string up. Lay my piece down again. And then take the next section. Move my string up. Then cut the next section. Move my string up. I'm going to keep doing this. Take it little section by little section. Move your string up. Keeping your bottom of your pom pom against flat surface. I'm going to find my other string here because I'm going to need it in a minute. Okay, finish this side and there's my string complete on this side. Then I'm going to find my next side here. And this is where you can try to even up your tie if you need to, but it'd be best if you didn't have to. And then what I do is just pull. And as I pull, I try to gently remove a little tighter here. Then I remove more, get those out of the way completely. And of course you want to tie a few knots, but first Make sure it's pretty tight, then tie a knot. There we go, got a couple of knots. Now I also have these because this is also going to help me secure this pom pom. So if you want to, if you need to do a little cutting like, or just removing some of these pom poms altogether that may be loose, this is the time to do it. Don't cut it perfect now, just uh, just kind of get rid of the wobbly ones or just get rid of them all together. I just, this is the part that's going to be on the hat. It's going to be difficult for me to cut a little later, so I just want to get this out of the way. Wow, I'm making such a mess. Okay, so now you have your pom-pom. I'm get my hat here. So, um, you want to get your tapestry needle. And I like to choose one of the side stitches, not right directly in the middle, but one of the side stitches to pull it through. Then I'm just going to release that from my needle. Then I like to do it for the, the other tail as well. Thread it and put it in on the opposite side of your hat. Pull it in. Now you have these two tails coming through your hat here. So I get the first one. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to sew going one direction. And then you can use the other one to kind of go the, uh, the cover the space you haven't done. So I guess I'm going to go this direction towards my other tail and then I'll pick up my tail and then finish going that way. I'm on this side, so I guess I'm going to go through here. So what I like to do is I'll skip over a few and then I'll push it through all the way through, through my pom-pom. And then I'll go back in through the top of my pom-pom, but just a little bit further over using my fingers here to feel where my needle is. 
and then go through on this side see where I am on this side make sure I'm going through an actual stitch and then pull it up on this side and you don't have to go perfectly and you're probably going to get confused where you are but as long as you come up and then you go in a little bit away from it and go through the hat through the pom-pom you're going to be securing that pom-pom to your hat a lot easier and I definitely like to go through the sides of the pom-pom not just directly in the middle because you want to give it some strength around the outside so that it doesn't wibble wobble come up through a stitch really really difficult to get to where I need to be I'm going to feed my hook down some stitches here and I don't think it's long enough to do it again so I'm just going to leave it like that check I got this whole side pretty secure on this side and now I need to sew this part on it I'm going to grab my other one I always like to use a two long tails to, to sew on my pom-pom okay from this side you can see that this is the side that needs to be sewn on so I'm going to go through a stitch near where I already am and then I'm going to go through the pom-pom on this side it's a little loose on this side but not bad it's very loose on this side so I'm going to come through kind of near where I am and try to come out diagonal here so I can get on this side of the hat where I need to secure it a little bit more you really can't have these uh, this extra piece of string being too long because it's only going to give you more uh, ways to sew this and have it more secure so when you first start making your pom-pom string make it long and again I'm just trying to go from my spot here to the spot I need to go to secure it a little bit more your strings of your pom-pom also comes loose and so this also helps by going up and through keeping a little bit more strength so once you do that I try to get my tails close together closer together but not in the same uh, place so it's here so this is a little bit too wide to tie for my liking so I'm gonna go ahead and bring it a little closer and then I'm gonna tie a couple of knots and then now you have this tail here that you can work into your stitches here to hide it really well Turn that out of the way, which I will do off camera. And now this is the time that you want to take your hat and all these little spots that are sticking out. And this is where you want to take your time and try to keep it, get it as even as you can and cut all those little bitty pieces that could be messing up until you have the pom-pom as perfect as you like so that is how you make a pom-pom just using simple things around your house I hope you liked this tutorial if you did please don't forget to like and share and comment down below it helps me out so much uh, if you want to always be notified whenever I release a new tutorial you can go next to this subscribe button that little bell button and click to get all notifications also I have a couple of groups on Facebook there's a private group called Crochet for the Masses, and then there's a public group called Crochet Zone Public. And you can go there and subscribe, be part of the crochet community there. Also, if you're on Pinterest, I have Melodores Creations Community, free crochet links posted by not just myself, by other designers as well. Also, you can check out my newsletter. I have a newsletter now. If you want to be notified whenever I release something new on my channel, or if I have any news, uh, on my site or anything that is the the number one place to go to at least be updated on what's new happening to the site so that's it guys uh, thank you so very much for watching